Yo, what's good, guys? So today's video, plain and simple. Normally, I put up my, my pendulum decks. You already know me. I put up five negates, six negates, hand traps, or whatever. But this deck is a little bit different. The deck I'm bringing to you guys today is pendulum graph based, and it's not just pendulum graph based. Uh, it is a Patreon video for Adam Theus. He's been a longtime Patreon, longtime fan. He's a big supporter of mine. I do appreciate and respect you a lot. Thank you very much for your support. Um, it's going to be a different deck for you. Instead of putting up five, six negates, it's getting boring. Six negates pass. Uh, it's getting boring. Uh, I had another idea. What happens if they break those negates? What do you do, right? So what happens if your opponent just absolutely busted? What if your negates don't do anything against their deck? What if fog blades don't do anything, etc., etc.? So a new style of the deck. Again, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's auto victory, the six negates. But this is a different style of deck. Utilizing the pendulum graphs, to, instead of putting up a board, instead of putting up a hand. So after your first turn, you're going to have go plus six, plus seven after your first turn. Put up three interruptions. And then OTK them next turn with the five cards in your hand. So that's the style of this deck. I'm not going to showcase to you guys. I'm going to show you guys the deck list in another video. But I'm going to showcase to you guys. This is just a theory behind this version. The Pendulum Graph version that utilizes Time Graph and uh, the, the Time Graph and the Star Graph. In order to ensure you're going to plus a lot, not get OTK. That's the main part. And utilize Time Star Magician. I think Time Star Magician is extremely underrated. And I'm going to show you guys another tech that I use in the deck to ensure that every single turn... Uh, you're not going to get OTK'd. You are not getting OTK'd. Guaranteed. And the next turn, you're going to OTK them with Boral Lord and Boral Sword. So I'm going to showcase you guys now the style of the deck. And we're going to do two random hands in a row. The first hand is going to have the trap in our hand. The second hand is going to have the spell in our hand. And maybe we're going to search the others. Maybe we're going to draw the other. Just to showcase to you guys the power and utility you can use in this deck. The Pendulum Guests are extremely underrated. It's both of them, the spell and the trap. Uh, it's going to showcase you guys why exactly. The way I built this deck as well is very different. It's nothing like the other decks I built. Uh, I, we took out all the Mythical Beast Cerberuses, but we left one Jackal. The one Jackal is in there for utility reasons, to send it in case of a hand trap, and to add it with Time Star, and to add Chrono Graph with Electro to your hand, to be able to, after you do your combo, to Chrono Graph Jackal on field. I'm going to showcase you guys what, exactly what I mean. And we, we only play one Chrono Graph now. We play so many Turbo cards in here anyways, we don't need it. And Chrono Graph in itself is an overrated card. It does sound like a great card in theory. Uh, it getting limited to one in the OCG didn't matter whatsoever. Uh, just minus two turbo cards. Chronograph is not the best card in the deck. Uh, it's just another turbo card. It's literally a curtain raiser. Uh, there's nothing special about Chronograph. Having one is all you need whatsoever to have it, the searchability of it. So now we're going to showcase you guys an average hand. Victor, the con man for the day, would you like to please cut the deck? And we're going to showcase you guys now a completely average hand, random hand. With this in hand, we're going to open up the trap to start and four cards. Even if we don't open a turbo card, that's fine. Like, okay, so we have a pen called Dark War, that's fine. It's whatever, whatever, like, we're going to send that. But I'm going to showcase you guys. There's, like, you're going to draw hands, like, this isn't the, like, it's a good hand, but it's not, like, the best hand on the planet. Now, pen call, Dark War, most of them going to be useless under Pendulum Call, but that's totally fine. We might even just treat it as a high skill in this situation. So we're going to add Harmonizing and Oak Dragon. Typically what you're going to add all the time, you're going to summon out Dark War and then get the gate zero. Yeah. This hand plays around literally every single hand trap. Even though the pendulum call got ashed, uh, we had more than enough utility and uh, resources to uh, still put up a good board and not get and, and then put up still a lot of cards in hand to win the following turn. So with pendulum graph, what you want to do, we have the pendulum, we have pendulum call and pendulum graph, which means now that uh, time, even though you don't need time to protect your scale, your scale, it's still good to go into time start. I'm going to show you guys why later on. But I'm going to upstart now, draw. We got Curtain Razor, and next we're going to simply just normal summon. We're going to normal Curtain Razor, doesn't matter what we, we normal, and we're going to go into our Electrum. Electrum Effect sending basically what we want in this situation, whatever we want. Uh, we're going to send Jackal. I want Jackal in our hands here. Actually, I'm going to send a Harmonizer. I don't want Jackal yet, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why. So we're going to send a Harmonizing to be able to add it with Oath. Uh, but first we're going to... Actually, we pop, pop. No, sorry about that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Sorry, 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 sorry. So this is a very intricate way of playing this. But we're going to send Jackal. There's a reason why... There's a reason to uh, everything here. But we're going to send Jackal. And we're going to put Gate 0. And we're going to pop the Gate 0. And we're going to add the... No, I was right, I was right, I was right. We said harmonizing. We're going to pop the uh, gate zero, 
And we're going to add anything but harmonizing because open harmonizing is going to add back to harmonizing. So we're going to add back the dark war. Actually, we're gonna, we might even add back the zero in itself. We're going to add back the zero. And I'll explain why in a bit. We're just going to pop zero and add zero. Uh, you don't want... Uh, you do not uh, want to pendulum anything from your extra deck but level fours. We don't play vortex. The whole build is level rank four centric. And I'm going to show you guys why. So... We're gonna, we whatever the matter we draw so, okay so we drew the jackal that's a coincidence uh we're gonna go oaf dragon harmonizing add the harmonizing so the trap card you gotta remember this the trap card is already going to pop two cards on the field because of pendulum call already so it doesn't matter or uh, more so what your board's gonna be because you're gonna be protected by the trap card that's why the trap card is fantastic pops two cards uh so you don't want to summon too much of your hand you want to more so save your hand for link materials for the following turn so you're gonna summon the, the dark one and the and the curtain razor. We're gonna summon the harmonizing. And at this point, we hard drew the jackal. But like I said, I said it didn't matter what you drew. So just to prove a point where you're just gonna keep the jackal in our hand, because obviously we're gonna summon it in this situation, but you don't know you're gonna draw the jackal. It's an interruption in itself. So it's gonna keep it in hand just to showcase you guys what I'm talking about. Uh harmonizing effect's not gonna trigger. Bring out literally just any uh any magician. Uh, usually I bring out Wisdom Isle Harmonizing because uh, of the style of the deck, and I'll show you guys the deck list later. But here's three Wisdom Isles, so you're never going to run out, and you want to save the one loves in your deck uh, just for utility purposes. Uh, next up, we're going to go into whatever rank four we want. Probably Evil Storm Nightmare is the best rank four for that. And now, here's what we're going to do. Instead of Oath, we're going to put gate zero here, okay? And we're not even going to go into Nightmare. I'm going to show you guys something. We're going to go into Tornado Dragon. Why? Because you're not always going to draw Pendulum Call. Pendulum Call is a fantastic card. For this situation, we're going Pendulum Call and Oath Dragon. And then we're synchroing with these into a Synchro 8 and the Interruption. Or bring out Time Gazer to go Dragster. And then we're going to add back with Oath Dragon. But you're not always going to draw Pendulum Call. So I want to showcase you guys the utility of the trap and all like on the spell to be able to utilize so much regardless. So we're gonna keep the gate zero, put the gate zero on the scale. We're gonna go tornado dragon and time star. Time star. We're gonna search chronograph from our deck. Now we have the chronograph and jackal. But if we didn't have, we'll just search literally anything. But uh, pretend we didn't draw the jackal. We're gonna draw a harmonizing for next turn. See what I mean by follow up right here? Uh, we have all scales, all the gates. We're gonna literally pin something. That we'll do the exact same thing we do this turn. Next turn as well. Literally the exact same thing. Now here's where it gets super cool. We're going to activate Tornado Dragon on Gate 0. Utilizing Time Star's effect to protect Gate 0. Uh, we did use Pendulum Call. But uh, Pendulum Call protects the Magicians, not this. But in the situation where we didn't draw Pendulum Call. And we have like, like an old Dragon or whatever. You can't, oh, you can't uh, Tornado a Pen Call anyways and then resolve this. Because you're not going to get destroyed anyways. But just showcasing you guys what would happen if... Uh, what would happen if... You know, regardless of pendulum call or not. So we're going to send Fairy Tale Snow. Now, just like that, look at this. Yeah, we drew, drew the Jackal. So we had another interruption on top, but we, even if we didn't. So we have one interruption in Tornado Dragon, two interruptions in Pendulum Graph, because this will equal two, and then one in Snow. Now, if you look at your graveyard, we play a bunch of spells for Snow. We have four, like, we play activate two spells. That's a low count. I'll we'll activate a little more, but that's fine. Two spells. We have four in Grave. So that means the second one of your XYZs go to grave, you activate snow as well. So the second you, you use the second you use Tornado Dragon's effect, which you're gonna use it early on, obviously. Uh, and it, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you now have six cards to to and then one random card, like a time star, electro, whatever. So snow's always gonna resolve. So just like that, you're literally gonna have and your skills are getting protected by time star's effect. So even though you're not putting up a crazy board, like I said, it's a different style of the deck. Look at your hand, you have a four-card hand. Snow is going to uh, take care of another interruption. So you have two interruption, three interruption, four interruption with a four card hand. Scales protected by Time Star. If they somehow leave, you draw with Electro and Dark Room and Grave. And you're drawing a fifth card and like look at your hand. This hand's insane. Like you literally have the exact same following turn. And the extra deck is built to ensure that every turn is going to be like this. Every turn is going to like we play one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. We play set, uh, eight rank fours. The whole deck's based off rank fours. If they're not a rank four, you typically don't want to summon it. It's just link material at that point. So there's so much utility in here to ensure that you're not getting OTK thanks to the pendulum graphs and snow. So you're not getting OTK 
and your your follow ups insane, absolutely insane. It's like it's nuts. So that's the average turn with the pendulum, the trap pendulum graph. We still ended up with that much plusing with the trap pendulum graph. I'm gonna showcase you guys how the spell pendulum graph is insane. Again, just showing you guys how the pendulum graphs are really good, man. They're absolutely underrated. I do not give the pendulum graphs enough credit. If you're, even, you don't even need a high magician count. You really don't. I play triple wisdom, I triple harmonizing, and one of each. That's it. In fact, I don't even play one. Like I play one purple, one black bang, one gazer, one oaf dragon, and that's it. Ten magician, six pendulum calls. Like you're gonna draw a magician regardless. And three corner. Oh, uh, sorry, one corner graph because corner graph is gonna equal the time gazer. I might up the corner graph to three, but you do not need enough turbo cards, and you do not believe me having the because the, the way the extra deck is to be able to put up two rank fours every single turn with a land for lockets as well. So you always put up two rank fours and a boil or boil sword depending on what you want your thing to be. Uh, you, you the you do the exact same turn every turn. So you see how we plus there. Where after the second turn, we're putting up the exact same board in the second turn. Because typical with pendulums right now, the, after the first turn, it runs out of gas. After the electrum's gone. But like this, no way. Like this is just insane. You put up literally the exact same board every time. I showcase you guys how the trap was great. Now I'm going to showcase you guys how this card is great. We're going to draw Foolish, Pendulum, Call Lord, Shrine. So typically you're going to draw, like I said, you play so many spells. Uh, we cut the deck to 40 cards. So you guys remember I said I played 25 spells in the 60 card deck? It's almost, like we're playing like 20 spells at this point with 20 monsters. So the monster is not that big, but all you need is for the turn one and turn two. And desires doesn't matter. Like if you banish whatever it is, like it doesn't, doesn't matter whatsoever. I'm going to showcase you guys how you're going to play with this hand. So off the bat, you're going to shrine in hopes that they ash. This is the most ashable card in the deck. Uh, Foolish shrine, anything like that. There's getting ash for sure. Because you get a, you get, you replace yourself with a gate zero and you get a free card on the field, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but... Ash getting ashed. Uh, if it does get ashed, you get foolish burial. So this hand plays through any any ash easily right now. So foolish into gate zero and ash or bell are the most played cards right now. So anyways, plays through them easily. Next, we're, we want to see what we're gonna draw into. So we're gonna allure right now. Maybe we're gonna draw something nice. Uh, see what we can get. So Mr. Kind Man, would you like to cut, please? We're gonna activate allure. Maybe we draw into him, doctor. Get some uh, use out of these spells, uh, extra use. So we draw an alliance. And a shrine. So that sucks. We went through three three foolishes this turn, but that's totally fine. We're gonna get rid of the gate zero. Uh, now we have access to the other trap, which is fantastic. Uh, now I'm gonna showcase you guys why the spell is, is fantastic. So we're gonna punch them, call the, sh the shrine. Ooh, it's getting ash. No chance. Like the shrine's getting ash. If anyone does not ash a shrine against pendulums, they're absolutely stupid. Like they're they're absolutely dumb. Uh, we're gonna go harmonize it. So you calling me stupid, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, no, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Funny story, I was facing the uh, Victor, uh, the camera, I was facing him, uh, B, uh, BA versus Pendulums. I tool match him, by the way. Anyways. He still lost that game. Anyways, and he did it. Uh, my hand was, I really wanted it. I ha actually had a shrine in a foolish. And he didn't ash my shrine when he really should have. I was like, wow, how on earth is he not ashing my shrine? And then uh, it really cocked me badly. Because uh, he was thinking, I read he had ash because he was thinking about it. And he didn't do it. I'm like, oh my god, Victor, you idiot! Please ash it. And it was he, his misplay actually won him the game. I didn't because... do it. <laughs> I read you like a book, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe it wasn't a misplay then, because it worked out. So maybe it was actually just a genius pro play there. So, anyways, uh, normally you're gonna ash it. So pendulum call, gonna get our harmonizing, and it's gonna get uh, wisdom eye. Are we pendulum call? No, we're gonna get our high scale right here. So we're gonna get uh, black fang. Next, we're gonna no activate the pendulum graph. And we're gonna normal summon the harmonizer. We're gonna put them into go into electro. I wish that the spell wasn't mandatory to chain block for the harmonizing, but it is mandatory. So chilling one, chilling two, you're guaranteed to get your scale, and you're gonna be adding back to harmonizing uh, and getting a plus and a plus, and then another plus up oak dragon. That's why I love it because it ensures you're getting the plus up oak dragon, so like you're getting a plus plus. Plus, plus, like so many pluses off it right now. Uh, again, you want to end with a lot of cards in hand. So we're going to activate Electrum. Uh, at this point, we're going to send Jackal. And this will trigger to get Oath Dragon. Uh, we're not going to be able to get the draw off Electrum just because we drew all Magicians and we have to banish the gate zero. But that's totally fine because we're just going to pop this. So Oath Dragon, Black Fang, uh, another use for it. You get a plus and then pop it if you really need to. We're gonna add the harmonizing to our hands. Then we're gonna activate Electro. Oh, actually, we don't need to activate Electro because we already got two there. So we're gonna summon, activate Electro will be for no use. 
So we're gonna not activate Electrum yet at this point. There's no need for it. Actually, let me think about this one. That's a tough situation. Yeah, yeah, there's no need for it whatsoever. So we're just gonna uh, save the Electrum effect. We're gonna activate this Alliance, get the Trap card. And now we're gonna Pendulum Summon. One, two, harmonizing. We're gonna summon this. And now this is why I don't like Jackals. We're playing a bunch of fours. You don't get to go into the two rank fours that you want to, you know what I mean? So that's a little unfortunate situation there, but what we're gonna do is totally fine. We're still gonna go into poison like that. It's okay, I'm gonna show you guys why it's okay. So we're gonna go, uh, let me see here. Yeah, you know what, we don't send the Jackal. I wanna showcase you guys something new here. We're gonna, instead of a Jackal, yeah, you know, whatever, we go, ah, I hate doing that, but that's totally fine, whatever. I, I prefer rank four plays, but it's totally fine. So we're gonna go into that. We're gonna XYZ. One sec, actually, let me think about this. Yeah, okay, so we're, it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Electrum pop the Pendulum Graph to add the Dark Worm. We're not gonna summon it from the extra deck. And uh, then we're gonna just XYZ like this. Uh, just create the space and get a free plus. Uh, pendulum graph's not going to be necessary at that point. And this point, we're going to go into Time Star. Again, interruptions are not that important with the Pendulum Graph. Uh, you just want to mainly focus on plusing. So we're going to detach the Purple Poison to have Black Fang bring it up next turn. You get another plus for yourself. And just like that, you got four cards in hand or three cards in hand. You got the best follow-up in terms of the Pendulum, uh, the Harmonizing. Uh, this hand ended up not being so good because we didn't draw off this, etc. Uh, but you get to send snow next turn by protecting scales with time star uh, or protecting this with time star uh, but just protecting your monsters in general with time star uh, sending snow so you're gonna have your know, next turn after you protect your jackal you're gonna end up having a snow so with bear spells and graves why we play so many spells uh the pendulum guy popping two cards and jackal negating a monster and next turn you're gonna be adding with oak dragon you're gonna be drawing a card. You're gonna be so that's another pendulum call. You're gonna be summoning back Black Fang, harmonizing for another synchro play with Ignis, etc. And you're gonna OTK them. So with that plus, oh, and we didn't mean I would times, or we did it. We didn't harmonize it, but with these plus, you see what I mean by pluses now. This deck pluses like crazy. It was a little messy there, but you end up just plusing a lot. And having the snow engraved by the time star allows you to uh, have one interruption, two interruption by the pendulum graph, and one by Jackal. Pendulum graphs are way better than I thought. And Adam Theus, bro, uh, you told when you first told me to do a video on Pendulum Graphs, I was like, or two videos, and I'm like, bro, uh, Pendulum Graphs suck. How am I gonna do this? And then actually thinking about it, you really opened my eyes. Pendulum Graphs are actually amazing. They're highly underrated. I do recommend people play them in their deck, especially they play High Magician Count. I personally do not play High Magician Count, but in a 40 card deck, I do recommend playing one Pendulum Graph with Triple Alliance. It's amazing. The spell, the spell card is good as well, but the Pendulum Graph, the trap on itself, is even better because Time Star will give you pluses. Well, it's only good you play the snow because the snow gives you another interruption that the time star, uh, but the XYZ the time star doesn't give you. So the interruption the time star gives you is a second off the pendulum graph, and it gives you a free snow, and it gives you a plus as a follow up for next turn. Like if if we we even like another cool play to do is uh, adding chronograph or jackal with electro, keep it in your hand. Time star add the other one, and then on their turn, when one of your interruptions get destroyed. You special out the chronograph and the jackal, so you have even another interruption, and you're still gonna have a lots of cards in hand, lots of cards in hand, in order to ensure that you don't get OTK. So that was the pendulum graph profile. Next video, I'm gonna showcase you guys, get you guys the deck list. I recommend this build for those people who uh, don't, uh, who don't want to uh, think, oh, how do I put up five negates? How do I put up six negates? It's tough to put up five six negates. And those that like resources and want to know that you can play next turn, those that love resource management and those who loves just having cards in hand, I do recommend play this version. Every single, uh, at the end of your first turn, you're going to have three interruptions, uh, always. And you're always going to have four cards in hand. So the style of it is just saving cards in hand. Just the interruptions are a little less good. Instead of negates, you have interruptions. That makes sense. So instead of negates, you have like Tornado Dragon, Snow, and Pendulum Graph Trap popping for two, which is more than enough not to get OTK'd. So check it out if you guys like. I'm going to put the deck list up uh, in a few days. Uh, I just hope you guys like the video. Make sure to check out Game Nation. Link in the description below. Uh, use Pengon 5 for 5% 5 off all your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And make sure to subscribe, boys. Because at 13,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a crazy, crazy giveaway. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out my Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.